Mother Nature has placed many satellites around the sun. Besides the Earth and its moon, there are eight other planets and many, many moons, plus thousands of asteroids. But man has added to the number by sending up countless rockets. Have you ever wondered what happens to all those rockets that fail to reach their targets? Perhaps they all end up floating forever in the space graveyard. The space graveyard, what a place for us to be stuck. Look at that. We were bound to hit something out here. Dr. Elephant, what do you mean by this being the space graveyard? It's a place where there's no gravitational pull from the Earth or the moon. And that's just where we are now. Are you trying to tell me that we can't get back to Earth? Atomic energy engines burnt out. The radio's useless. We're stuck all right. I'm going out to take a look and see if anything can be done. All right. But be careful. Wow. Look at that. This really is a space graveyard. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. This antenna is a real mess. I don't think we can repair it. Wow! What is it? I don't know. Looks like we've been rescued. Hmm. Or else we've been taken prisoner. But by whom? Attention, rocket ship! All survivors come out immediately! Are you the only survivors? What a relief to see that you're human beings. Forgive me, my name is Dr. Elephant. And this robot is my very dear friend and companion, Astro Boy. You couldn't have come at a better time. I had no idea how we would ever get back to Earth. And what makes you think that we are here just to help you get back? Because you're from Earth. Surely you'd help a fellow human being in distress. We'd help you. Please help us. I refuse even to talk about that place. But why should you refuse? I have my reasons. Perhaps you've heard of me. My name is Sowbelly. You mean you're Roger Sowbelly, the famous scientist? Yes. The Earth looks very tiny flying away from it at nearly the speed of light, which is what we're doing. But where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you want to return to the Earth, sir? I'm going to settle my own planet and live the way I want to. But we don't want to. You take us back to Earth right away. Do you hear? Uh -huh. Dr. Sowbelly, we've just sighted an Earth-bound rocket filled with uranium. Uranium and headed for the Earth? Stand by to attack. All hands, stand by. Now, just a minute. You have no right to attack that rocket ship. May I remind you, Dr. Elephant, that you're my prisoner and can do nothing about it. So keep quiet and don't interfere. That kind of rocket has no people on board, so we'll just blast it. Now stand by to attack. Hey! Why? Professor Sawbelly, don't destroy that rocket. Be quiet. That uranium-filled rocket will be used to make more war. So I will have to destroy it. You're wrong. The people on Earth aren't going to use that uranium for war. They want peace. You don't know what you are talking about. I must ask you not to interfere. I said please. Now I'll have to stop you. Go! <laughs> How does it feel to be caught in my electromagnetic trap? Sound the alert. Now we are ready to attack. Astro Boy! Look what's happened to you! Dr. Sowbelly, please release him. We shan't interfere. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning? Why, so it is, but it's hard to believe. Day and night are both the same in outer space. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Dr. Elephant, that you're a bit mixed up since you've had no sleep. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it had to be. Come, I'll show you around the ship now. Please observe these large glass tanks on both sides of the aisle. It doesn't look like a farm, but it's where we grow all our food. You mean you produce all your own food with chemicals? It's not very tasty, but you can exist on it if you have to. This seems like a lot of bother. Wouldn't you be happier living back on the Earth? And be part of those foolish people again? No, oh, thank you. Space is so full of dreams and millions of opportunities undreamed of.
Do you see that asteroid out ahead? How would you like to go hunting there? You mean there are real animals on that asteroid? Yes, but they don't look like the animals found on Earth. Just great for roasting. <laughs> you see, he comes in a convenient package. <laughs> what? Huh? 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 Now what's this? <laughs> These animals are different, all right. There he is. Careful, everyone. Oh, how frightening. Come, let's go. close together because there are many monsters on this asteroid. Right. <gasps> no, you don't. Now. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. You're out. Good work, Astro Boy. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, he was easy. Astro Boy. Astro Boy, how can I thank you? You saved my life. I cannot tolerate carelessness. When will you men learn? I'm afraid you'll have to be punished. Solitary confinement for one week. Confinement? Our lives in outer space depend on everyone obeying orders. All right, return to the ship. Dr. Salbelli, I don't know what kind of food this is, but it looks and smells delicious. Mmm. Magnificent. You've been holding out on us, Doctor. Where'd you get such delicious roast beef? I've not been holding out on you at all. That happens to be the monster we caught. What? No! <laughs> Don't be so upset about it, Dr. Oliphant. I've got a right to be upset, serving us monsters. Please forgive me, Dr. Elephant. Perhaps you'd prefer space food. Bring space food for Dr. Elephant. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> Why, they're pills. Those pills are a complete roast beef dinner. I wish you a hearty appetite. What planet are you taking us to, Doctor? I call it Cerebon. <laughs> oh, no. What's happening? It must be a meteor shower. But this isn't the meteor belt. Captain, the ship's been hit. Find out where with our television. I can't. There's something wrong with the power. Then switch to our emergency generators and have everybody stand by. Could it be our space antenna? Ah, oh, let's hope not. That could be pretty bad. Dr. Sawbully, I could check it out if you want. One false move and you might drift forever in space. I know. Another spaceship. I'd better find out where they're from. It's just a small one, like one of our scout ships. Huh? Hmm. These guys aren't from Earth, and there are probably more in the other part of the ship. 
I think I just may take this whole ship back. Perfect landing, Astro Boy. All right, close the hatch. There they are. Uh, 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 bring them up here. Yes, sir. All right. My psychoscope should help us find out what these spacemen are up to. Will your machine really be able to read his mind? It depends on the kind of brain he has. <laughs> I don't like the looks of that big tower. Mm. Go ahead, question the spaceman, Dr. Elephant. But he can't understand me. He will, because our machine translates what you say into language he can grasp. What is the tower used for? This is our great attacking weapon, the hydrogen ion cannon. It throws out a hydrogen ion. All oxygen turns into water. All Earth creatures perish. What? All Earth creatures perish. Mm, what a terrible thing they're planning. <laughs> Our tower will send out its great rays. They will be beamed at the Earth, and their strength will speed on the Earthman's doom. What's the matter with you? That possibility isn't funny. <laughs> I would like to see the whole Earth destroyed. There's justice for you. Shame on you. Aren't you also a human being? Yes, a human being who believes that the whole Earth should be destroyed. The Earth is an evil place full of evil men who produce nothing but nitrophone bombs and weapons of war. Your words are just as bad as their worst bombs. Let them bomb the Earth to kingdom come. I am going to build a much better place. Dr. Sawbelly, just think what you're saying. You can't really want the Earth to be destroyed. I most certainly could, but you are safe here. You have no worries. Besides, the matter is out of our hands. Dr. Sawbelly, you could stop the attack if you wanted. Stop fighting me, Astro Boy. Remember, I'm captain of this ship. <laughs> there it is, Sarah Bond, where I will make the most peaceful world. And I'll do it for you, Sarah. And we'll be together again. When the Pollyanna is completed, Roger, you must escape immediately. That way they can never use your spaceship for waging war. But, Sarah, what will happen to you? Don't worry, Roger. The baby and I will make our escape and wait for you to come back. I've done what you wanted, Sarah. And soon I shall return for you. I hope it's not too late. Huh? Astro Boy! What's the meaning of this? I've come to ask you to please delay those spacemen. I've told you that I won't. How can a human being refuse to save the Earth? The Earth is already doomed by its own evil. Huh? <gasps> ah! I'm sorry, Astro Boy. I asked you not to interfere. Now I'm afraid I'm forced to take away all your energy. Please, Dr. Salbelli, I want to help you. Stand by for landing. Something's wrong. Something's happened here on Saraban while we were gone. Captain, look! What could have done all this damage? Obviously, a bomb. I'll bet those spacemen are behind all of this. We'd better search the planet for their base. Right. Sawbelly's new world seems to be in trouble. Mm. Can't you find some energy to help me? Mm. Perhaps if I could find some way to break out. The Earth will be ruined if we don't think of something. That makes me mad. Oh, but not strong enough. <gasps> Something's happening. I wonder what. I'm all 
right, I think. Look! An opening! We can escape! But, Dr. Elfin, I still need energy. You're right. I'll be back in a flash. I feel like my old self again. Geronimo! Good show, Astro Boy. Astro Boy, you'd better help Roger Salbelly fight the spaceman. I don't know. He refused my help before. Yes, but now he knows better. All right, I'll do it. Stand by. There are the spacemen. They look weird. Gabo, 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 gabo. Bagabo, go to tabak. Look out! I'll keep searching till I find the spaceman's base. Whoa! That tower looks familiar. Of course, that's the terrible weapon they've aimed toward Earth. Uh-oh. They look kind of mean. Let it be known to all of you. We, the unconquerable spacemen, will destroy all humanity on Earth. What can we do? I'm afraid it's too late. We need Astro Boy. And you took away his energy. Then we will begin. I must think of something. If I don't, they'll also destroy this planet and all my dreams. This must be the base of the spaceman's tower. What kind of material is this made of? I can't budget. Bring the Earthmen to me. Earthmen, you will be destroyed along with your planet. Then this part of the universe will belong to us. What? Prepare to blast the Earth. No, you don't. Not yet. What? Get him! Hurrah! Look, there's the Pollyanna! We'll prepare to take off immediately. Tell Dr. Elephant the men are back. Everyone, into the ship, quickly! Wait, you can't get in unless I remove the chains from your hands. It'll take just a minute. Stretch out your arms. <clears throat> there you go. Now get into the rocket as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, here come the spacemen again. Get a move on. You're the last. Better hurry. Astro Boy, I've got to get this rocket into space. Will you keep those spacemen busy for me? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. uh, ah, ah, ah. Dr. Sawbelly! Dr. Sawbelly, are you all right? I'm all right. Just take care of those fighters for us. for an all-out attack. Take it easy, my friend. You have been wounded. That doesn't matter. Nice work, Astro Boy. Perfect. And so now we attack the spaceman's base. Roger, Sow Belly, you need medical treatment immediately. Later, later. First, I must destroy the spaceman's base. Here they come again! They've got more fighters than I figured.
Astro Boy had the right idea. Destroy the tower. Forget the fighters. We will strike the tower. <laughs> We've done it, we've done it, Roger. We've smashed the spaceman's terrible weapon. Yes, we've done it. And I'm very happy to say we've saved the Earth from destruction by the spacemen. Your rocket's new engine will take you back to Earth. I hope we'll see you there too, Dr. Salbelly. I can't promise that, but I'm going to ask you a favor. Sure, whatever I can do. Please find my wife and child. Tell them I'll come for them when I have finished this place. Perhaps this planet will be as nice as many places on Earth. With you and Astro Boy as our example, how can we fail? Attention! Oh, thank you. Thank you all. I hope we'll all meet again. I'm glad they still have an Earth to return to. Earth, here we come. Right. There's no place like home.